Hi everybody, thanks again for coming into my kitchen and watching me do a little bit of the stuff that I like to do best. We live here in sunny central Florida and we have some of the best fruits and vegetables in the world. And I want to showcase some of the fruits and vegetables that I grow in my own yard. Check out these plantains, okay? These are plantains. They are very, very hard, okay? It's a, it's a hard product. Now listen, they do go brown, and then you make fried sweet plantains, okay? So they go from this type of, you can hear the crunch. There's a crunch, and if you let them brown, they, you can make fried sweet plantains, okay? What I have over here is a little bit of frying oil, and we are going to fry these chunks. But I want to give you just a small tip. This is an end of an onion, okay? And uh, I'm not going to put it in a salad. It's very, very tough. However, it will, and you hear that, that oil? This is ready to go, okay? As a matter of fact, I turned it down just a little bit. That onion will nicely flavor that oil, okay? Don't forget to flavor your oil, okay? You got to do that. So I want to get back to this plant and very quickly. Look at this bad boy right there, huh? That came out, out of our backyard. Um, you know, bananas and plantains, they're, they're, they're self-perpetuating. You grow one tree and it has babies, which are the bananas, and um, it dies off and a baby grows, all right? So you really only need to grow one banana to have many, many in your future, all right? And there's different varieties of bananas. So you can see how I'm cutting on this, okay? Don't hurt yourself with this. It is a green um, fruit, so it is hard. Take it easy. Don't hurt yourself. That's not what this is all about. And again, I'm going to make chunks, and I want you to note, I do not have this on high. This is a green uh, fruit here. You, you, if you fry it on high, the outside will be burnt and the inside is going to be hard. Who wants that? So you can see what I'm doing and you can see where it pops just a little bit. Turn it down just a little bit, okay? And throw in these plantains. And they will do, let me grab this over here. They will do like perhaps a piece of frying chicken, something like that. They will stick to the bottom. And, you know, whenever it does that, the oil is a little bit too hot and you need to turn it down and don't pull it off of the bottom. Kind of, kind of zhuzh it, okay? And what we are doing is giving this a nice golden brown. These are great appetizers. And you can see that golden brown goodness that we have there. And you can tell that it's not all the way cooked. That's not what we're doing. We're going to, we're going to fry this again, all right? But all of this only takes just a few minutes, so you'll see. That needs a little bit more time, so does this one. Now, while we are doing this, and I think we should turn this down even a little bit more. Do you hear how this oil is talking to me? It's excited. It's too excited. You've got to calm it down just a little bit or oil will get out of hand. But if you listen, it will tell you, all right? I want to come over here and show you some of the toppings that we are going to have for our tostones. Did I say that? We're making tostones, okay? And again, whenever these green plantains turn brown and you fry them um, in deep fry, you have them with coffee in the morning, those are sweet plantains, okay? You know, you really should get to know your plantains. So what I'm doing is finishing off a little bit of guacamole because we're going to top these plantains with gu guacamole. Let's take this lemon right here, and what I have, of course, is avocado and cilantro and lemon juice. Okay. Here in Florida, we have we have lots of citrus. 
I have many citrus trees in my front yard, okay? So this is one of the, toast, the, the toppings for our tostones, okay? Now I want to introduce you to pico de gallo. This is pico de gallo. And if you'll notice, this is pretty quiet now, huh? Quiet. Come over and tend to them. And I had a little bit of lemon juice on my hands. You never want to, if your hands have liquid on it, water, lemon juice, any kind of liquid, you don't want to let that drop into your oil. It will spat, splatter terribly, okay? So don't do that. That's why I did this right here and wiped off my hands. All right. Give this a few minutes on this side, just a minute, okay? And I'm going to turn this down a little bit more, not a whole lot, okay, but just a little bit because what's going to happen is we're going to take these two plates over here and we're going to smash these. So now they're going to be thinner, okay? You don't need a high heat. You don't have to cook and fry on high heat. You may start out the pot with high heat, but that is not where you stay. Learn to use the knobs on your stove. Mm. All right, pico de gallo. This has slivered onions, it has a little bit of tomato, it has a little bit of cilantro, and it has, in this case, I used orange juice. I even put a little bit of lemon juice. You know, you can use the sour oranges too, okay? Any kind of citrus to brighten this up, all right? And I've made what is called a pico de gallo, and the star in here is the onion, all right? And then the other thing here is just minced garlic. That's all this is, okay? And I don't like garlic on my hands, so this is whenever you learn where to cut corners and where to do it all fresh. And this is where I draw the line, so I bought that minced, okay? All right, watch this. Watch this. and you smash it, okay. Crunch, you heard that, check that out. And back into the party it goes. See, you let some of that moisture out. And that's what you want to do with each and every one of these, okay. Back in the party it goes, see. All the way around. All right. While I'm smashing and getting to know my uh, green plantains and showing and sharing them with you, I'm going to get this done over here and set this up so it's pretty, pretty just for you. Okay? I'll be right back. Check this out. Look how golden, brown, and delicious these tostones are. And they're melt in your mouth. Luscious goodness. And like I always try and tell everyone, please, while it's still warm, this is when you throw your salt, your onion powder, your garlic powder, because that warm food will melt these flavors into anything, actually. But today we are making tostones, okay, with green plantains. And if you'll remember, we fried them once, sliced them, fried them once, came back, squished them between two plates. Do you remember that? All right, we're going to put a little bit of pico de gallo on these and a little bit of this guacamole. Okay, check this out. Okay, nice big chunks too. And then over here, traditional way that tostones are usually served is with some minced garlic, okay? And as we all know in the, in the Latin community, they always have a squeeze of lemon or a squeeze of lime, okay? And that's what we're doing on the top. Tostones, which one do you want me to try? I think I'll do guacamole. Here we go. Mm. 
crunchy goodness with those tostones and the salt and the tartness of the lemon juice and the smooth avocado. Here, this is for the party. Watch. No one will ever know the difference. See you later. Bye-bye.